Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Master Grade Gundam F91 version 2.0. The original Master Grade came out, oh, it's been quite a few years for sure. I've never built that kit, so I won't really be able to compare how the original is, but from what I've heard from other people and seen other people talking about online, they don't really see a lot of what's really different about this kit from the original Master Grade. Of course, there's going to be some differences, but uh, I think it's definitely... It looks like, to me, it definitely looks like an improvement. So, I mean, anywhere where it's an improvement, I mean, that's cool. If this particular design really needed a 2.0 over other designs, that uh, would probably be more beneficial to the design. Like, for example, the Master Grade Alex, or the Master Grade GP01, or GP02, GP03. Also, all, like, lead Gundams that are those old Master Grades could definitely use some work uh, with a 2.0 release. But, hey, whatever the case, this is what we got, so let's take a look at it. Some really cool box art here right off the bat. You can see uh, some other kind of damage of Ignagina there in the background, which will be coming out as an RE kit in the very near future, so you'll kind of be able to pair those up. If you guys aren't familiar, the F91, just by design, is much smaller than a typical Gundam. I think it's around 15 meters tall, where the RX-78-2 is around 18 meters, and then they just kind of get bigger from there. Uh, the Zeta and the Unicorn are all larger than that, even. So it's going to be a pretty small Master Grade, but we have a pretty large box here for this, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that they use this larger size box for this kit, when something like, for example, the Gundam X, or even the Double X, was in the smaller box size. Well, of course, it was much deeper, but still i'm just surprised that they made this uh, into this big huge box so just want to say as always a huge thank you to you guys the gundam store for supplying me with this kit to share with you guys so do check out the link to their site down below and use that coupon code there to save yourself 10 percent uh see so on the on the bottom of the top of the box you just got the same artwork repeated there on one side of the box we've just got a painted image what the kit is going to look like front and back there just standing uh it looks like a pretty nice master grade in in all honesty, the F91 is a Gundam just design that's never really appealed to me too much. There's certain aspects of the, of the design that I like, and certain aspects I don't like quite as much. But if this is a, a if it's going to be a really nice quality good kit, then I'll be happy with this. So you can see the action pose uh, with the VSBR there on there, variable speed beam rifles. Uh, it does have the lighting unit, which is not included. But I do just happen to have one here, the lighting unit, white, double lights. This is a different LED unit uh, than what Banda usually uses, just the single small little circle ones. This is a separate thing. This is actually the same one that goes in the BB-8, Bandai's uh, one half scale BB-8 that I reviewed a few months ago. So I might have to give this a try, pop that into the BB-8 too here first before I put it into the F91, just to see how that looks. Maybe take a picture, share that on Instagram for you guys. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we've just got the lighting units here that you can use for this to light up the back vents and the front vents in like the middle of the torso. So you can do that if you want to spend an extra 20 bucks for a lighting unit, which is pretty expensive. That said, the cost of this kit is not too bad, so we'll get to that here in just a second. Here's some other details about that, weaponry. Uh, figure says the Seabrook Arno seating and Sicily Fairchild standing pilot figure. So that's cool. It's not really often that we get a different figure for the seated and standing pilots. So I like that they gave us a little bit of uh, variation there. And then it has some markings in here as well. I believe it comes with stickers as well as dry transfers, but of course no water slides, unfortunately. And then here's a look at some of the weaponry in use. Uh, it's got some cool opening gimmicks with that. I like that. It's got the beam shield, of course. Different head options. I really, really don't like that uh, regular head with like the nose. It just looks so weird. I'm just not into that at all. I know some people think it's cool, but for me, it's not very cool. Uh, and then it has just some gimmicks here. It looks like it's going to have some plated parts as well. It looks like some maybe gold plated parts for inside there. That looks pretty nice. Uh, some different gimmicks there. And here's what it's showing completely unpainted what it's going to look like, which is not bad. And the list price, like I said, is 4,000 yen. Very, very reasonable. Again, that has me questioning the size of the box because the Gym Sniper Custom, if I remember correctly, was also 4,000 yen, and that was also in the smaller size box. Again, uh, deeper, but smaller. But I guess we just have some more of these larger size runners in here, maybe, and that's why. So you can see is our stickers and decals and all of that. Obviously you're gonna have a bunch of white parts there for the armor. It's mostly white, a bunch of, a bunch of gray there. We have a whole bunch more white parts for the armor here. Another thing too is that this does come with a stand. So it's got the base plate of just like the regular action base of four and five. Uh, but then the arm is gonna be different because the arm is where it holds the LED uh, unit. So here you can see there's that. We also have some clear green parts here. Uh, some yellow and some orange and some red and then our plated parts here 
which is a really nice plated like orange gold kind of bronze sort of color. All right, let's we'll, we'll get a look at all that stuff here again in a minute. Let's take a look at the manual here so you can see F91 gun F91 box art there again minus the text. So you can see also the jag in there in the background, which we are getting as a master grade also pretty soon. The F91 version will more than likely probably be a P Bandai release at some point. Uh, but we do have that in HD version. Uh, here is what the kit is going to look like. Again, it looks pretty minimal in terms of the details, uh, in terms of like being super detailed. But what you can see in details there does look really nice. You have like these little uh, notches like in there. So the details that are there look really sharp and cool, I think. But if you're the kind of person that likes a whole bunch of detail like all over the place, then it looks like it's maybe not going to be for you. Well, let's get into the center here, see what we've got. So here we've got the tracks in UC123, uh, the year 123 in the timelines. So there's just some nice CG artwork there. Painting guide here in Japanese and English. Painting guide there for the pilot figures and the Sicily Fairchild figure there as well. A uh, quick tip about panel lining and then some more about the mechanisms. This is all in Japanese and English as well, so it's cool, you can read that uh, about some of that if you want. Again, it's probably all on the wiki page if you want, but it's nice just that they're including that in the manual as well. Here we've got some more information here about the SNRIMS, just some history of the development of the Gundam, and then here some more, a little bit about the timeline there. And then over here, our parts list. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff, and I would imagine not very much left over for this kit. It looks like a couple of parts crossed off just from some doubled runners and that's pretty much it. And the construction it looks like it's going to take you through uh, the chest here. Chest, chest, head. And I know we do get two different heads with this kit. One is a transforming head and one is just a just fixed head. So you'll have that option. And then we do have our arms and the upper body is done and then onto the legs, legs and then the waist. And then once the waist is done you're onto the VSBR uh, weapons here and then we do also have a beam rifle bazooka there as well. I actually really like the bazooka for this kit. It's actually probably one of my favorite weapons uh, for the F91 Gundam much more than the beam rifle and then just finally how to use the display base after it shows you kind of a bit how to equip the weapons. Uh, displaying the using the LED light in there and then finally is just the decal guide here at the back uh, showing where to place all the decals and stickers everything on the kit. All right, so for the foil stickers here, you can see it's mostly just eyes and then a whole bunch of different cameras on there. A couple little black ones as well, and then these little triangles, little yellow triangles there. I think those are going probably on the knees, and that's about it. And then we've got our marking stickers here. Not really anything in the way of logos or anything. It's just all kind of general caution markings and things like that. And finally, we've got our dry transfer decals. Obviously, one set there for the big FN91. Really would have been nice if they would have given a second set for that because... Just in case you mess up or anything, you know, it just be, might be nice to have a second set of that. Otherwise, we do have a bunch more here just for different parts there in blue. A few more marking decals on here as well. Overall, it's nice, but still would prefer water slides. We don't have any polycap cells, so we can skip past that. This is the ACB BA runner. This is just the main base part here used for the action base uh, 4 and 5. Then we've got runner SB19, which is a new runner for this kit, but it's just marked in the SB line, the Sabre line, rather than just being uh, marked specifically for this kit. Uh, this is, yeah, 2018. We just have our nice big beam shield there and two beam Sabre effect parts here and a nice bright for a fluorescent green color. And then runner A here is actually runner A and 2 separated in half here. And unlike Bandai's typical fashion of making the A runner a multicolor runner, here we just have all white. So we've got some weapon parts, some head parts, we have our pilot figures on here. Just kind of a mix of everything on this uh, A1 and A2 runners, which you can just separate like so. And the runner B here, I'm guessing, is just all the armor parts for the arms and legs and maybe side skirts, anywhere where there's going to be doubles, because we do have two of this B runner for the rest of our white parts. And then similarly, here on runner C, we have the inner frame parts for everything that is not doubled. So inner frame there it looks like for the head, the chest, the skirts, and then our hands are on there as well. All looks really, really nicely detailed though. So for those of you guys who like a lot of detail on your inner frame, it does look pretty nice. This runner is also in ABS for anyone who's wondering. And then runner D1 and D2 are once again joined here. You'll just separate those. And this is going to be all of the inner frame kind of runner parts here for the arms and legs and the weapons looks like. So yeah, we've got two of this D1 and D2 runner as well. And then from here, it's basically just a whole bunch of small runners. So here we have runner E1, which is just all yellow parts, just some of the little yellow triangles there. 
and then our two sets of the parts for the V-fin. And then our E2 is just in plain clear in ABS. Again, this looks like just parts going in for like the inner frame parts, like the cockpit and the vents in the back probably, and then eyes and camera on the head. Just gonna be so that the LED light will shine through. Unfortunately, they didn't engineer in a way so that the LED light will shine up through to the head. I really wish that they would have. That really would have been nice, especially if you're gonna be paying $20 for an LED unit that doesn't actually light up the head. Uh, it's just a little bit disappointing. And the runner F is our red parts here for the kit. Not too much. It's pretty much just the feet and a couple of extra little bits on there. And then we have two of this F runner. And then for the G runner, we've got G1, G2, and G3. So here's G1. It's in this uh, nice light blue. It's a kind of like teal blue kind of color. And then runner G2 is in a really nice yellow orange color. It's definitely more orange, but it's not super bright orange. It's, it's, it's also a very, very nice color. I like it. And then runner G3 is our plated runner. So like I said before, it's a kind of very orangish bronze kind of color. On the outside of the box, it looks more gold, but it definitely doesn't look gold in real life. So that should be pretty cool. And finally, runner H for just a few more weapons parts here in that dark gray color. And then the main arm piece for our action base. And that is it. Now, while I say action base, I guess you really can't expect too much action out of that since it doesn't have any articulation built into it. It's pretty much just fixed in that one pose, which is slightly annoying. It's nice that Bandai has given us a base for this, which it seems like it's pretty much just a way to house the LED unit. But uh, I don't know, I guess it would have been nice if the base actually had at least one point of articulation in it or something uh, to make that a little bit more useful. But that's it for the unboxing, guys. Hopefully that was helpful, useful information for anyone. We'll have, of course, the full review coming up next, so you can check that out uh, with the LED included. As always, guys, if you have any other further questions or comments, leave those down below. Check out the link to USA Gundam store in the description as well. And hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code, Zakurilius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.